Hey everyone, Christian here once again with another plant review. And this one is going to be Hyophorbe versifeltii, better known as spindle palm. So, as you can see, these are quite large for the for cultivated specimens. Usually you will find them about six to eight feet tall overall. But these are closer to 15 feet tall, maybe even uh, more than that. And that's because they're quite old. They're uh, probably in around 20 years old, maybe more. Yeah, around 20. Um, and uh, they are, if you give them the right conditions, they will grow very fast. Now, spindles, they are from Rodriguez Island in, uh, in Mauritius. And they're critically endangered there. Uh, it's a small island in the Indian Ocean and there are not many left in habitat. However, they do seed prolifically and when they were collected, they were brought into cultivation and now they've become a staple palm for central to south Florida, more south Florida, but um, you know, they're a little bit cold sensitive, but they are absolutely beautiful and they are relatively easy to grow. They get their name, the spindle palm, because if you look at the crown here, let me kind of zoom in for on, let's get this one here. You can see that there's a little kind of a tapers at the top kind of like a spindle, rolling spindle, like you would uh, roll, like, I guess, dough with. I think that's really where they got the name, the common name from. Sometimes it's hard to know where the common name came from and who named it. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the general idea there. And they have these nice, uh, curving, stiff, uh, leaflets, uh, and they have a nice, they're crown shafted. And as you can see here, see if we can't get a little zoom in on the flowering situation, but that one is just a, done flowering and this one here as well that is just about to flower and there's gonna be about a thousand seeds on each one of these peduncular bracts and you can see the bracts themselves are actually still emerging and one thing many people do not know about if you can see this pattern that goes on with the flowering and where the old peduncular bracts came out you can see they came right off the trunk now there's actually uh, mathematics behind this the the bracts open up wrapping around the trunk in a fibonacci sequence so if you can believe it they actually figured that out that mathematically they open up in proper areas it isn't just random so it's actually uh you know there there is a method behind uh the way that these flowers open which i think is amazing so they also um they're extremely let's get to a little bit of the cultivation um requirements for this plant now like I, like I mentioned it is somewhat cold sensitive anything below 32 and you will get some frond burn um, I've had some come back from the upper 20s uh, you know you might get a full frond burn there they're probably a solid zone 10 plant I do see them growing in protected areas throughout central Florida and I don't think there's anything wrong with that you can protect them for quite a long time and even now you could still protect them if you wanted to they're not that the, the crown which is the most important part to protect and to make sure it does not freeze it's actually relatively small. Uh, you can wrap the leaves up if you really wanted to, you know, dedicate yourself to that. Um, but these are very old. Like I mentioned, most of the time you'll see them no more than six feet tall. And they like, full, they grow in full sun where they're native to, a very windy, sunny area. And uh, so they tolerate uh, hurricanes very well and storms. You know, the, the leaves are not very wind resistant. So they kind of just go through, you know, uh, strong winds pretty easily. And uh, yeah, I mean, they, they like a fast draining, they're, they come from rocky soils on the islands, so they, they like a fast draining uh, area. Don't put them in like a swampy area. These are kind of on the side of a little berm that's kind of going onto the driveway. So uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're beautiful plants and they're easy to grow. So, you know, if you have the climate or you can grow them in a pot for quite a long time, um, the seeds are gonna be quite small and they're gonna be shaped kind of like a, just a, very oval, almost like a linear, like a little cylinder, not, not quite a cylinder, they're, they're, they're elliptical, but, uh, and they're gonna be dark brown when mature and kind of squishy. And they, uh, you don't even need to clean these seeds, you just kind of throw them in, the, throw in a bin and let the fruit degrade and you ha you'll have yourself some uh, seedlings in, in no time. So anyways, that's gonna do it for this plant. Um, sorry, for this uh, palm. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and leave a comment down below if you would like to if you have any questions or like to uh, leave a suggestion about other palms to review so anyways have a nice day